in this video we'll be discussing about the anemia which is a condition that occurs when your blood has lower than normal amount of red blood cells or hemoglobin so briefly we can say it's a decrease in rbc count hemoglobin or hematocrit values we see the decrease in all the values lowers the ability for the blood to carry oxygen to the body tissues here we see in anemia we have decrease in rbc hemoglobin and hematocrit levels which leads to diminished oxygen carrying capacity that in turn leads to hypoxia and hypoxia induced effects on organ function and by all these effects we get the signs and symptoms of anemia now first of all let's see the classification of anemia on the basis of reticulocyte count first we have the low reticulocyte index having index less than 2.5 termed as hypoproliferative anemia then second is high reticulocyte index with greater or equal to 2.5 index count termed as hyperproliferative anemia and this hyperproliferative anemia has two types anemia due to blood loss and hemolytic anemia and it must be noted here this hemolytic anemia is one of the important types of anemia on the other hand the hypoproliferative anemia is divided into three types microcystic normocystic and macrocystic anemia in microcystic anemia we have mcv that's mean corpuscular volume less than 80 femtoliter in normocystic anemia we have mcv ranging between 80 to 100 fl and in macrocystic anemia the mcv is greater than 100 fl now getting to microcystic anemia first we have smaller rbcs in microcystic anemia than the normal size that's why it's termed as microcystic anemia these smaller rbcs in microcystic anemia are usually hypochromic in nature meaning the red blood cells appear paler than usual the typical causes of microcystic anemia includes iron deficiency anemia of chronic disease thalassemia sideroblastic anemia and hemoglobin e then we move on to normal cystic anemia here all the parameters of red blood cells are normal that's why termed as normal cystic anemia but the mcv that's mean corpuscular volume is always less than normal which leads to anemia this anemia is often caused by other associated diseases like it's caused by renal failure anemia of chronic diseases hypothyroidism aplastic anemia and acute blood loss then we have third type of anemia that's macrocystic anemia where bone marrow produces abnormally larger rbcs and this leads to higher mcv values that is greater than 100 this macrocystic anemia is often caused by vitamin b12 deficiency folate deficiency hypothyroidism myelodysplastic syndrome and alcoholic liver disease furthermore we classify this anemia on the basis of clinical features first one is iron deficiency anemia where we have excess loss of iron second is megablastic anemia which is due to less intake of vitamin b12 and folic acid third one is pernicious anemia which is due to vitamin b12 malabsorption in the small intestines then fourth one is hemorrhagic anemia which is due to excess loss of rbcs then we have hemolytic anemia which is important anemia which is due to the abnormal destruction of rbcs and finally we have aplastic anemia due to destruction of red bone marrow which produces these rbcs so this concludes the classification of anemia now let's get to the causes of anemia first one is loss of blood volume second is acute hemorrhage gastrointestinal bleeding third one is increased destruction of rbcs followed by autoimmune reactions iron deficiency folate deficiency chronic diseases inherited rbc disorders hiv heavy menstruation and infection and there are many other causes that can be attributed to the anemia so this is all about the anemia its classification its causes and its types i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting me work on patreon or youtube and make sure to subscribe to the channel thanks